this edition of the Double Eagle Golf Podcast. We're going to take you out to uh, Warwick Hills Country Club as we have a couple of celebrities out there and well-known golfers. The first one we like to do, she's not well-known, but she's one of the top uh, adaptive golfers in the entire country. She's Western Michigan University female golf coach, Kim Moore. Kim uh, is going to tell us a little bit more about her victory and what it's like to, to have an adaptive program and be an adaptive golfer, and it's not as hard as you think. Uh, ladies golf coach, Kim, earlier this week you were with the adaptive golf, kind of showing that off a little bit. Uh, tell us a little bit more about, uh, about the project that you're involved with. Um, I mean, I've, I've, I've played a lot of amputee and adaptive golf events, and uh, I was invited to go come out on Tuesday and help with their adaptive clinic, and it was great. I mean, there were 20, 30, 30 participants, and um, it's, just, it's just great to see how something like that really just opens up the adaptive golf community and just shows other players that are out there that may not necessarily think they can do it you know, there's some, some players right out here learning how to play and they're, you know, they can barely stand or they're missing an arm or they're missing a leg and they're learning how to play. Yeah, you know, and golf is, is a hard sport for most <laughs> of us. And for someone that's in adaptive golf, is there, do you have a different standard or you just, or, you, or, or, or not, I mean? Well, I mean, we still have the standard just like anybody else playing. We want to do well and we want to sure. have the best score we can. and. You know, we just learn how to adapt to our swing and what our abilities are. And I mean, we if you've seen some of those scores out there, it's uh, it's amazing. Under par scratch golfers. Wow, um, that's incredible. I mean, from 7,000 yard courses, I mean, 6,500, 68. I mean, they're, they're shooting scores that any professional would like. Sounds like I've really been missing out, <laughs> for sure. Well, I'll tell you what, Western Michigan Broncos golf, Mac, they have fantastic players what is your team going to look like this year is there any players you'd like to brag about um well we're we're gonna be uh full of fresh new faces we have four new ones coming in uh we had four graduates so um you know looking forward to seeing what some of those players can do um you know we have one of our team team captains coming back Alyssa fish she's she won one of our tournaments in the fall and uh she's looking to kind of repeat and do the same and and um, you know, just get better and better, and I, I, I think that's where that's our goal. That's our goal this year is to compete a little bit stronger in our conference um, and win some events. Uh, so, as far as Western Michigan and the other MAC, you, you uh, mentioned moments ago that you are going to be hosting the MAC championship this spring. Uh, tell us a bit more. Where's, where's that going to be? And uh, it'll be all the teams in the MAC. And uh, where do you feel like your team is going to be in the mix? Yeah, so it's going to be at the end of April um, at Kalamazoo Country Club. Um, it's always that 23rd to the 25th type date, and um, so it's uh, our last week of school. But um, you know, I think I think we'll we'll compete. I mean, our goal is to get in that top half. I think this year, um, you know, we, we, we definitely want to improve to at least that. But um, you know, it's going to be tight. It's going to be tough. The MAC is always pretty strong, and um, you know, you got to beat Kent State. That's the team to beat, and. Uh, you know, somebody's got to do it, but uh, hopefully we can uh, we can be competitive. You got to go Broncos for me? Yeah, go Broncos. Always go Broncos. Thank you, Kim Moore. Appreciate of course. Of course. This is for every girl who's ever been laughed at or told she doesn't belong. This is for every girl who's been told she's too loud, too quiet, too this or too that. This is for every girl who thinks her body isn't good enough. This is for every girl who feels she doesn't fit in. This is for every girl who's been told that success and kindness are two different things. This is for every girl who's been told to give up. This is us crushing it for you. So you can crush it for the next girl. Before we kind of go over the potpourri of a couple of people uh, in our final snippets as we end today, we're now going to take it. We have a couple questions for the Golden Bear. That's right, Jack Nicholas. He's standing right on the putting green, and we're going to give it a couple of questions to him. Take it away, Jack. Columbus, Florida, and uh, uh, we're also now, you know, we're working with, with the PGA Tour. We're trying to do a children's miracle. Network, $10 million raise. So you, 
who play yellow. Uh, I mean, there's and most of the cities that the tour is played in will have a, uh, a Miracle Network Children's Hospital. So, you know, that's a, that's a pretty big deal. I, I don't know. There's, last time I checked, 179 of them. There probably probably more of them now. I really don't know. There might be one or two more. But it's uh, it's neat to be part of of a, of a goal and something to do. That's uh, that benefits uh, like that. somebody other than yourself. Thank goodness. <laughs> What do you want people to know that are thinking about donating Children's Miracle Network? Why well, should they donate? Well, it all goes to help children. I mean, all these kids, I mean, you, you, you just saw some of the things that their money goes to and what the results are. You'd be donating a lot more and more often. Thank you, Jack Nicholas. Yeah, you got it. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, sure. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry? As long as you've got that something to talk with and talk to. Them to. You got them both right here. I got it right there. Uh, Jack, as far as uh, the Ally Challenge, you really take it to it. You didn't play here as a tour player a whole lot, but coming here, it looks like your charity is doing it. You come here kind of for your charity type thing? Well, a little bit of charity stuff. Yeah, Ally's got their charities, and, 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 and you know, mostly around this area. And uh, they've supported what we've done in South Florida. Uh, and uh, so it's, uh, you know, it works both ways. And the, uh, I played, I played, a, I don't know how many times I played here in, in, in when it was back at the old Buick Open, but I played here three times as an amateur, and I, I, one time I hit it out of bounds to the 18th hole to lose to Tony Lima, and uh, I never did win the tournament, but I, 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 I played a few times. Ali uh, Trevino is here last year, he's not here this year. How was it like a... Good to see Lee a whole lot anymore. Hey, Steve, how you doing? Good. How, are how you doing? Good. Nice playing. Yeah, good round you. today, huh? Thank you. Yeah, good going. Huh? Oh, no, we will. Thanks. Uh, Lee Trevino, he came out here last year. It was quite a hoot. I mean, I, would you like to see him come out here today? or? Well, if he can get here, I don't know where he is right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. That, that's always I good. always enjoy Lee. Lee's, Lee's, Lee's one of my favorites. And finally, uh, you designed, obviously, a ton of golf courses. American Dunes. American, oh my, I think of it every time right now. <laughs> but anyway, American Dunes. That, that was a golf course. Was that an easy one to carve out for you? Uh, well, it was. It was easy one for me to do because it was for a good cause. Folds of Honor, you know, it's, you know educates the, 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 the children of fallen warriors. And they've done probably, I don't know. Yep. Uh, they're probably in the, what is it, 30,000? Yeah, maybe 35,000. 35,000 families that they've, they've, they've worked on. And of course, American Dunes is a 501c3 now. The experience of going American Dunes, the golf course is a nice golf course. I did, did the golf course, and I like the golf course, and I think people enjoy the golf course. But the experience of going through the bomber squadron, going through the entrance, seeing where the fallen warriors, seeing the names, seeing the boots, seeing, seeing the things, the plane of the taps, the Star Spangled Banner, I mean, all the things that are, that are there, it's it's an experience that uh, when you when you walk away, you say, hey, that was pretty special. So it's not just 18 holes of golf. This is something so much bigger than that. Must have really is what attracted you. Yeah, golf. Yeah, well, I've I've been involved with Dan Rooney for a long time, and uh, we've had uh, I've been sort of the honorary chairman of Patriot Day. I don't know, probably the next last six or seven years, and uh, uh, you know, Dan asked me to do this, and I said, absolutely. We've gotten into it now. Now we're now Dan's coming to me thinking about doing another one. So if it does anything like this was done, I'm I'm all there. You got a lot more courses on your plate, or you want to No, 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 I'm just starting up. <laughs> I, I would think so, Jack. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. This is for every girl who's ever been laughed at or told she doesn't belong. This is for every girl who's been told she's too loud too quiet, to this, or to that. This is for every girl who thinks her body isn't good enough. This is for every girl who feels she doesn't fit in. This is for every girl who's been told that success and kindness are two different things. This is for every girl who's been told to give up. This is us crushing it for you. So you can crush it for the next girl. We caught up to 
ESPN star Jalen Rose. He also has the Jalen Rose Academy, School Academy in Detroit, and also ESPN, his long career, member of the Fad Five. He always draws a lot of this or a lot of this whenever you talk to him, depending on whether you're a Michigan or a state fan. I don't really care this time, but we're not going to talk golf because he's a beginning golfer, and I'll be frank with you folks. He'll be the first to tell you he's not very good, but he is good at running a school, and for the next three or four minutes, you're going to go, is this a golf podcast? But Jalen Rose is going to talk about why he's proud of his uh, kids and his student athletes and also just his, uh, students at his school and where he wants to take it direction-wise. Jalen, with your, uh, your academy that you have down in Detroit, what do you consider your biggest success? A lot of them. Um, First and foremost, just the beginning stages. We're not a part of a network. We don't have a feeder school. We don't test scholars in before ninth grade. We don't test them out after ninth grade. We're open enrollment, we're public charter, we're tuition free, in the midst of getting zero state funding for our facility. And also, uniquely, we have a nine through 16 model. That means once you graduate from high school, we still support you during secondary education, community college, college or university, military trade school. So we still provide that support to our scholars, unlike the majority of high schools in the United States. Now you must have had a mission going into the school uh, with a lot of what you're talking about. Did you find out that there were some obstacles that you kind of had to mold your vision a little bit, or how did that work? Well, the number one obstacle is that I'm not in it for the politics. Yeah. And I realized that there were so many people saying, Charter schools are stealing students from the public school. And then you read the fine print. Think about this. When you go through your phone, you just download the app. They say, you want this app. You want this app so bad, you don't even read it. You just say, yes, 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 yes. Give me the app. It can say anything in the fine print. But the fine print is, we are a public school. We, we, <laughs> and, but, but here's the difference. We get zero state funding for our facility. And also, and here's what people were arguing about. When you're in a charter school like ours, teachers don't necessarily have tenure. No, they're, they're, uh, That's what the true debate is. The true debate is, and you know this, I've said this, teachers are the most underappreciated asset in our society. They're overworked and underpaid like no other profession based on what they bring to the table in our society. And so for me, highlighting that dynamic via our school and getting past the politics of you know why other people are into it to just do it for the right reasons final, final question where do you see yourself in 10 years i mean you, you think you should run around several of these schools or you got a bigger vision than that i definitely have a bigger vision my bigger vision is to expand the school and that not only means k through eight but it also means multiple locations i think this model is scalable and if I had a blank check, it would be scalable to where, in particular, where we support young people after high school. That secondary education piece is crucial because you don't get the kind of job right out of high school in 2022 that families would get, say, in 1982 or even 92. That's changed a lot in society. So I'd like to thank Kim Moore, Jalen Rolls. I'd also like to thank the Golden Bear, Jack Nicholas. And from Warwick Hills Country Club, this is Roy J. Akers. We want to thank everyone for tuning in. Make sure you download the podcast on Spotify, uh, Apple, iTunes, and a whole lot more. Also, Anchor. I think we're on Anchor as well. So please make sure you do that. Also, www.doubleeaglegolf.club, and that's where you have it. For everybody out there, Roy J. Akers, thanks for tuning in.
Uh, yeah, we got a lot of fans here, but I feel like we also get to, you know, make some new ones. And, um, you know, it's all about having fun. Golf's fun, music's fun. It's been a great time.